to No Recipe Required. I'm Dave, your NFL Burger host. Tonight we're going to do another in our series of NFL Burgers. If you haven't checked them out already, check out the playlist, link right here. If I haven't done your burger yet or your team, let me know, give me some ideas. But tonight we're focusing on Denver. The Denver Broncos struggled a little bit with coming up with the concept and um, what I landed on is essentially a twist that incorporates the Denver, on Denver omelet. Uh, some peppers sauteed off until they're nice and sweet, a little bit of onion in there, some cheddar cheese. Instead of ham, we're going to use bacon because it's a burger. And then uh, to top it all off, a fried egg. Now, since we're in Colorado, I'm also going off the, uh, the beef bandwagon. We're going to do lamb, Colorado lamb. Super famous, super wonderful, absolutely great. And it, uh, lamb makes an awesome, awesome burger. I think you're gonna love this one. Let's go ahead and check it out. Okay, let's go ahead and get started on our Denver Broncos burger. Now, some of the ingredients I'm using here, I am taking inspiration from the Denver omelet. Wow, that's a hard one to say. Not really. Um, got some green bell peppers, some red bell peppers, and some onions, which are classic ingredients in that omelet. Now, I'm just gonna cut them into kind of nice strips like that. Then we're going to take them over, saute them until they are wilted down. Some of that sweetness comes out, about even quantities each, just in a little bit of olive oil. All right, so we've got our vegetables chopped up. We've got a pan over kind of medium high heat, a little bit of olive oil in that pan. And then let's grab our peppers and onions. And I'm not looking to cook these kind of all the way to um, brown caramelized. I just want them wilted down. Get some nice little flavor on there. We're going to season with a little bit of salt and pepper and then toss. Probably going to take about 15 minutes or so to get these to where I want them. And um, that's plenty of time. I'm going to get a separate pan going. I'm going to cook some bacon and we can also form our lamb patty. All right, so I've got three strips of bacon all cooked off here. I've got my onions and peppers just about done. Time to form our patty. Now, Colorado lamb is super well known. So I'm going to use a, uh, a lamb patty for my burger. If uh, lamb is not your thing for any particular reason, you can go ahead, use beef by all means. You can use, use whatever you want. Use turkey, use chicken. I think this lamb burger though is absolutely awesome. I'm going to make it kind of nice and big, about half an inch thick. And then what I also do just to help it from um, kind of crunching up or, or uh, shrinking as we cook it, is put a little bit of a dimple kind of right in the middle there, which actually helps do that. And then let the meat come up to room temperature. And once, um, once it does, we're gonna season it with salt and pepper on both sides, and then we're gonna cook this guy off. All right, so we've got our lamb patty all made up, seasoned, room temperature. Pan over good high heat. A little bit of olive oil. I'm just going to lay the burger down. Don't touch it. Don't futz with it. You don't really need to do anything. I'm going to let it go kind of over medium high heat for about three minutes to sear that first side. We're only going to flip it once. All right, our burger now is cooked for a few minutes. We're going to flip this guy over. And you should get that nice caramelization on that side. We're going to go ahead. I'm using just a little screen to keep the splattering down. Make sure you don't cover it with like a lid. That's going to steam it. No good. About two more minutes and um, it's going to be time to rest it and cook the sunny side up egg. Okay, once the burger is done, I like mine kind of medium in the middle. Um, we're going to pull it off. Let's uh, go ahead and grab a nonstick pan and we're going to do an egg to stop this to kind of complete our Denver omelet theme. All right, so to top our burger and to uh, kind of do our Denver omelet theme, we're going to fry an egg. Um, really simple to do. I've got an egg here that I cracked uh, just into a little ramekin. A little bit of olive oil in there. I've also got kind of my best nonstick pan, which makes this all a little bit easier. You want a nice hot pan. Lay it gently in there. And if you really want to, you know, you can kind of massage the white a little bit to get a bit of that nice roundness. I'm going to turn the heat down a touch now because we want to make sure we get the white kind of fully cooked and the egg, or the yolk, just kind of barely, barely set. One of the ways to do that is after just a minute or so, go ahead and take a, a lid and cover it. That's gonna create just a little bit of heat, steam in there, kind of like an oven, and it's gonna help set that white and the yolk, 
without overcooking it. Okay, in the final seconds of our egg cooking here, I'm gonna lay on a nice bunch of shredded cheddar cheese. I'm gonna put that lid right back on there. I'm gonna kill the heat, put that lid back on there. That egg has only been cooking for about 30 seconds, a minute or so. The cheese is now gonna melt off the heat. Our burger is rested. Once I am uh, put all this stuff together, we'll put our burger together. All right, let's go ahead and finish putting together our Cowboys inspired burger. I'm gonna put a little bit of mayo down on the bottom of my bun, obviously because the taste is great, but the fat in the mayo also helps keep the bun from getting um, overly soggy. I'm gonna put our lamb burger right on top. I'm gonna take our sauteed onions and peppers right on top of that. Piled nice and high. Might as well call this the Mile High Burger as well. We've got our fried egg. Put that puppy with the cheese melted as well right on top. And then the final component is our yummy, yummy bacon. And that is one hell of a Broncos burger. I think it's time to eat it. All right, Broncos fan, let's go ahead and cut into our burger. I know that that egg is going to go ooing and gooing all over the place, but we got to check out the inside. You can see it running. Oh, that looks good. And I will see you next time on No Recipe Required. All right, Denver fans, I hope you absolutely love your lamb burger inspired by the Denver omelet. Those sweet peppers and onions, they taste so awesome. And then we got the egg on top, that yolk that runs and absolute awesome flavor. You know what, if you haven't checked out the series yet, go ahead, I put another link to it. I've got about a dozen teams up there. So far, I'm adding new ones every week, so make sure you subscribe. And since we did peppers on this one, figured I'd show you another link for a great pepper recipe, how to roast red peppers, roast them right on the stovetop. Creates awesome flavors that you can use in all kinds of recipes, even this one, if you want to do it that way. So go ahead, check it out, and I'll see you next time on No Recipe Required.